Yo guys, what is up, this is Nick? We are here with, this is my very first game of the For Honor Closed Beta. Um, obviously I'm better at it now, but this was me trying to figure it out um, using the Peacekeeper, uh, the Assassin in the Night tier. Um, this will be the first couple of gameplays are going to be with this character. Um, I actually like her, but I move on to the more overpowered character, the Niboshi, uh, and so consequently... Uh, most of my gameplay is with the Nabushi, so I, I, actually I bet it's about split. Uh, the Nabushi, I've gotten her to level 6, and I believe the Peacekeeper here is level 5, so I have about the same amount of time played, but I do a lot better with the Nabushi. I believe I have like a 14 and 1 gameplay. I have some really good gameplays, but um, this was just my first thing, so I'm going to give you guys my first impressions of the game. The game is really fun, um, but it's really fun to a certain extent. Um, at a certain point, it, it gets a little bit repetitive. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, if you fight, you can't really fight a two-on-one, uh, or like a one-on-one v two. You can't be the sole um, fighter against two people. It's extremely hard to win, especially with the characters that I play as. Um, it makes it really hard to get kills. Um, like the Peacekeeper, just not going to be able to fight two people. Um, the Naboshi can, kind of. I do have some gameplay um, where I did a 2v2 and we won. And I believe I did have a couple of 2v1 fights that I came close to winning or won. Um, but in Domination, usually you get just ganked. You get 3 v one or you get 2 v one uh, or you're 2v1-ing someone. Uh, it's just kind of annoying. And here is this. You can see now it's a little bit of a uh, huge fight up here. We've got a 3 on 2. But really, my first impression, like I was saying, um, it's a really fun game. I do really enjoy it. But it does have... It's really repetitive. There's not much to it other than getting ganked or ganking. One-on-one -on -one fights are amazing. Uh, they're, pro they're the best part of the game, the one-on-one -on -one fights that you have. Um... And C just became a whole entire hellhole here. You can see we've got, like, literally everybody and their mother on C. So I'm going to dip out because uh, I'm about to die. But another thing is you can simply just run away so easily from people that it's ridiculous. Uh, especially with certain characters like the speedier ones, like the like the Assassins and, like, the Naboshi. Um, they have a, they have a really good sprint, so you can just run away forever. Uh, there are some matches where I'll be the last person alive, and I can just run around the map for three minutes before they catch me, uh, before they figure out what they need to do to, in order to stop me, or they get lucky with a swing where I roll a little too late or a little too early. Um, but in general, you can run around and pretty much just demolish people um, by just running around. You can. If you can split them up, you can get them into one-on-one -on -one fights, deal some damage, and then run away again. Um, I thought they were going to keep running, that's why I had that, like, shitty swing there. But the game, though, does get really repetitive. Um, it's, there's not too much complexity to these maps. They all kind of are generally the same. There's two, there's two or three lanes to get to the points, um, and there are three or four ways into some of the points and that's about it it's about the same on every map like this one you've got the stairs you've got the ladder and you've got this path over here and you got the stairs on the other side uh for four routes in and it's pretty much the same on the other side you've got the you've got kind of the, the walkway up you've got the um far left you've got the stairs and then you've got a drop-in point uh so there's four over there and you can kind of just correlate that to every map like the sanctuary bridge there's uh, the stairs, there's another set of stairs to a walkway, there's a ramp up the back. That one only has three, but it's a little bit smaller of a tighter of a map, so that explains that. But the maps aren't too complex. In They do have some complexity within them because they can be night or day um, instead of um, just one type of day, or one time of day. Uh, but... Domination tends to just be a gank fest on who can team up on someone the fastest. Um, you do get some games where you do fight, even fights a lot. You get a lot of 1v1s, and those are really fun games. But most of the time, if you want to win Domination, the best is to run around with at least one buddy. 
uh, and just pretty much demolish people when you find them because two-on-ones are extremely unfair, uh, which simulates real war, I get that, like, that's obviously true, fighting a two-on-one is a lot easier than fighting a one-on-one, -on -one. uh, but sometimes I think that kind of hinders games when they try to make them too realistic, also, the friendly fire is annoying, I get once again that's, they're trying to, you know, Make it realistic, but the friendly fire is annoying because you're swinging a sword, um, which makes the ganking even stupid, more stupid because you're ganking from behind. Like one person is, you, you have to pincer attack unless you want to risk hitting each other, um, which is ridiculous. And the fall damage, I wish there wasn't as much fall damage. Like it's ridiculous. That was like half of my health that I just did there um, on that jump down, uh, but. Let's get back on topic about my my first impressions of the game. Um, the There are certain characters that are just so much better than the other ones, um, like it's ridiculous, and the Naboshi, the... I forget his name, it's the, it's the second character in the knight category. The, the Orochi was overpowered in the first alpha, but it's not anymore, so... They did nerf it, but I'm not sure how they're supposed to nerf the Naboshi. Uh, she's just really overpowered. There's, I literally don't know if there's anything they can do to nerf her because it's her weapon that makes her OP. It's not like, it's not like it's her abilities or how she attacks or the damage she deals. No, it strictly has to do with um, her weapon. It has incredible range, and that's what makes her so good. And what I get better at here as I keep playing and stuff that I've figured out is that you need to go back to the points, like your capture points, um, other than B, because you'll receive health, you'll refill your health if you go back. I believe we figured it out um, midway through this game uh, that that's how you regained health, is to run back to these points. And so I started doing it, but I really start doing it in future gameplays, but... I don't believe that I'll be picking this game up for $60 at launch. When I first plugged it in and when I was playing this for the first time, I did think I was going to get it. We all did. All my friends were like, yeah, let's pick this up. It's going to be some fun. Uh, another multiplayer game to play. But as you play it, it does get repetitive and it does get kind of annoying. Um, if you get into a game, like this is, this game's going to have an extreme skill gap. If you're good at the game, you're going to be good at the game. You're going to demolish people. If you're bad at the game, you're going to be bad at the game. It's not going to be like a, I don't know, not, not Call, Call of Duty is an awful example because you can still be really good at Call of Duty and do really good, but you can suck at Call of Duty and do good. That's not really, there's not like a, there's not something that, not really that levels the playing field, but I mean, something like, I don't know, something, it, it, it's similar to playing, like really good players on here is probably similar to playing really good players on Dark Souls or like on Halo um, where if they're better than you, they're probably going to kill you. Like, the odds that you kill them if they're better than you at this is very low. Um, and not that that's a problem, but I play a ton of games. I don't have a... Like, I don't want to invest hours upon hours into the multiplayer of For Honor to get really good at it in order to just be the best player at it. And so that's not really a criticism of the game, because I do like games that require you to have skill at it. I like a skill gap. I do. I do like a skill cap. Um, but this one is extreme, and you really need to play the game um, a lot. Some of the some of the games with a high skill gap, like Halo, you can really take advantage of. Even, even if you're not a great player, you can have some good games. Like, if your shot is on, you can have some good games. You don't have to be an all-star at Halo. Uh, but at this game, if you get matched up with good players, you're pretty much done. Um... If they, if they know how to defend well, and they know how to attack at the right times, and use their abilities at the right time, it, you're really you're really just shit out of luck, and um, the ganking really drops the skill gap as well, um, because if two good players are attacking you, you have zero chance. Um, but you can see here, this is kind of how the chases work. You pretty much just keep chasing people around the map until they go and try to heal, and then you interrupt them mid-heal if they can't revive in time. And it's pretty much just an endless circle of ganking around the map once you get to this point in domination. But, like I said, probably not going to be picking this up for $60. Um, I'm, I think my friends and I agreed that we would consider it at like 40 to pick it up to play it. Um, because it's not a bad game. It's unique. It's really unique, which I give Ubisoft some credit. It's a really unique game. There's nothing like it on the market. 
Um, so it should be interesting. I guess there's stuff like it on the market, but you know what I mean. There's no like multiplayer game like this really. Uh, that's yeah, there's not really a multiplayer game like this. But that's gonna do it for this game, this uh, video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And like I said, not buying it for sixty, but probably will buy it for forty.